We're going to be looking at the Koya Fast Koya Trainer, and this is by Linacruff. So just to recap, all right, we went to the Linacruff GitHub. So the first thing I recommend you do is immediately save a copy in Drive. I'm going to run down this without without clicking anything. You click the buttons, okay, in order. So we'd mount the drive, and then it's going to go to. Uh, we're going to fill it out first. Remember. Okay, I'm going to do install trap X formers. That's for real. We're going to say here, my Laura. You can put whatever name you want there. Okay. For the training uh, directory, once we have signed into our G drive, we can open this folder, and there'll be a list here. One of them is going to say G drive. You can open it up, and then you can right click, copy path on the folder which contains your images. So I'm just going to go into my drive. And we're going to scroll past all the secret waifu folders. Nah, there's none here, guys. So we're just going to go to the Kappa training data. And we're going to find something cool. We're going to do Space War. Because Space War is super cool. Space War has 100 images, pretty much. Has 100 images. All right? And uh, you'd normally have to do so many. So what I'm going to do is right-click, copy path. Okay? And then I'm going to type in here. I'm going to say Space, space War. Um, we're going to say dash. It's 100 images, so I'm going to use 256. Uh, Space War 256, and it's going to be uh, V15 Chaos. Yeah, we should have done the chaos. Okay, so content training. So now I'm going to copy that path right there. So Space War 1024. And then we're going to use the Dream Booth method. All of these images are tagged Space War. Now this is a style model, not an object model. So I don't need to do any captions. So I'm cheating a little bit. So the instance is Space War. We've already done the 1.5. We've got the VAE. We're not going to use the tagger. We're going to change this to 256 because that's my choice there. We've gone over 100 pretty much. So we're going to say 256. But it's on the borderline of needing to be, really. Uh, you could get away with 128 with this. But I'm going to say 256. All right. We're going to leave everything else because we already set linear here. We already put the warm up to 200, so that's fine. We don't need this. It's at 512. We've got the noise offset of 0 0.1. We've got the train batch at 4. We've set everything correctly. So that means all we got to do is press go. Now, the first time you do this, it might seem a little overwhelming. But honestly, all you really had to do was mount your drive, put the name in. Put the path for your data set, which is on your Google Drive anyway. Okay. Name it. If you want to use a uh, if you want to use a, a, a token, put the name of the token in. All right. Uh, make sure that this is the correct base model, which is just a question of going to Hugging Face and pulling it. You could use anything that you like from there. Okay. Auto captioning if you want, because you're lazy and you didn't do that but I recommend doing it yourself. Keep going. Select your dimensions. I would recommend 128 and 128 if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, leave everything the same. Pick linear. If it's a version 2 model, 2.1, check this and this. Put it to 768 for 2.1768. Leave it at 512 if you're, and you don't need V parameterization if you're on the version 2 512 model, right? Set the noise offset, highly recommended. Um, and I think I think that was it. I don't think we've actually changed anything else. And then fire it up. And then what it's going to do is it's going to run through all this stuff, okay? And it's going to start making our model. Um, and uh, just let it run, basically. But yeah, I'll put this model up once it's done so you can have a little play around with it. It will be called uh, DJZ Space War V15 or uh, 256. Okay, just a quick addendum here. So I retrained the whole thing on a big, G big premium GPU with 10 batch. And that took 15 minutes and 26 seconds for the whole run. I found that when it finished making the model, it actually put it inside the content area of the collab. 
um how i fix that uh there will be a show code button so we'll click on the show code there it is so output directory and all i've done is i have put in a path from my google drive so i don't know if they're going to fix that in the future most likely but regardless if you finish this training and then close it you'll lose it which isn't ideal so what I did was I just changed this line of code here. It's quite easy to find because it has all this. This whole block here is quite unique. And all you have to do is copy the path for where you want the models to be saved in between these two quotes. And then that will save. For me, it was my drive training directory output. But you can use any, any directory after the my drive part there. Okay. Um, and then what that'll do is when you hit when you hit run, it's going to train your model and the intermediate steps. It's going to put them in there for you. So if something happens, you've got all of those there. And when it finishes, you can just close this with disconnect and delete runtime and you're good to go. So just wanted to point that out. Uh, have a good time training. Hit me in the comments and remember the full version of this video is actually uh, in the description of this video because this is the short version I'm going to put on the model pages. So if you want the full hour-long version, which has got all of the details and a bunch of extra information, just go ahead and uh, check that out. It's in the uh, description for this one. So thanks very much, and I'll see you soon.